and welcome back to another video! Sunday. Now, <coughs> oh, excuse me. This was supposed to be the next pixel last Sunday, but I accidentally deleted it. The video <coughs> recording, I mean. Oh, and I've got hiccups, so yeah, sorry about that. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so. Um, let me just clear my inventory quickly. As you can see, I do do a lot of 2D pixel art. Um, but what about uh, 3D? How, oh, excuse me. How would you do a 3D pixel art? Um, these are actually quite good 3D pixel arts. I didn't do these. Um, some random guy that, oh, excuse me, that came on one time did these. Um, yeah, but Dan, um, Pinkness Stampy, and Iblistic Squid. Those are some decent 3D pixel arts, but I'm talking like, um, I know, I know these don't exactly match up to these skulls because, um, I did these in the plastic texture pack. Um, so yeah, um, these works in the plastic texture pack because plastic texture pack is very, um, you know, one colour basically. Oh, uh, that does not look anything like that because the text is changed. Anyway, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway, but in the default texture pack, uh, for most things like Steve said here, you can't really do 3D versions of it really, <coughs> oh, excuse me, really well because, um, Say this corner here, this oh, excuse me, this corner bit here, pixel here was one, was one block. You'd hit, you had, you would have a bit of trouble here because that block, and then that block would be the same. So you would have to enlarge it so that like one pixel is like four blocks, but then you'd have to have like a gap in it in between it. So, uh, oh excuse me, you could do that or. Um, there is another slightly more, ex a bit more expensive, but I, <coughs> this will look better way of doing it. So, first, what we're gonna want is a map, and I'm gonna go through this step by step. Actually, <coughs> we go to this giant crafting table over here, and the, this one was pretty easy to build because it actually <coughs> had, had clear defined borders. borders. Um, so yeah, the top was actually more complicated to do, oh excuse me, because I think I got confused with the top of the crafting bench, and the house all laid out, and I think I had to change it, anyway, yeah, that's a previous pixel, ah, uh, it's something you can go back and watch. Um, so, we want, per, app, paper. Uh, oh, excuse me. Let's see if I can actually remember how to do a map. Yeah, there we go. We have an empty map. Well, you can, you can see that we have crafting table here and. What is that? Is that is I think that might just be these um, 2D pixel arts. Anyway, so I didn't, I shouldn't have done that right now. What you want to do is, once you've got a small map, uh, and th this is the smallest you can make, and apparently you can't use them multiple times in creative, even though I thought you could, so um, just do this quickly. Can't you? Yeah, do that. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Jeez. Anyway, so once you've got your maps, you're gonna go far, 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 far. <coughs> excuse me, far away. Um. You can keep on going. So we have 
this 70 map. So it is literally. I should have made like, these locator, locator maps. That would have been easier. Hold on. Yeah, I can just go map. Uh, for locator map, you just literally put a compass in the center. Empty. <coughs> Map. These should literally be the same. Yeah, that's that's more that is so uh, I'm just gonna put them there. I didn't know I wanna put that there. <coughs> anyway. Um I'm just gonna use locator map map right now because it's gonna be easier for me. Cause then I <coughs> oh, excuse me, because then I know exactly where on the map that I am and also that pixel does not wanna get change. Um, that might be a bug or something. Why ah. ah, that's annoying. Alright, so, um, that plus one. Yes, yeah, a plus one. So, um, what? Oh, I forgot to bring my key for board, so I'm going to have to do this manually, so I'm just going to be like, fill, why, uh, <coughs> where's, there we go, <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, relative, 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 let's say, and I'll try 200, I think 200, <coughs> relative, relative, 200, let's, let's, let's just do, sir, uh, uh, oh, you can use, you can do, do this with like any, <coughs> any colored block, uh, too many blocks, okay, so, I'm just doing this to speed up. You can do this in survival. <coughs> so let's try one fifty. One fifty. There you go. What? I did it in one direction. <coughs> let's get another map. Yeah, so we've got this all greyed out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Let me just go a few blocks in. I'm going all right. Let me just go here then. Why, do, why is this map not update? Oh, there we go. Still need to go a bit more, so go out that much more. You could look up the exact dimensions of a small map, but I'm just lazy. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm just being lazy. <sighs> These hiccups are annoying. Yeah, might try and cut them out, but not as annoying as these two pixels I don't want to go away. There we go. So I'm just going to do this with stone right now. You can literally you can do this with any colored block and you'll get like different results. So like, if I get, oh excuse me, if I go to the end of here. And let's, let's just get another empty locator map. I need to go back a bit. Place this with something else like um, wood. <coughs> Excuse 
Just me? No. Has I messed up this map, has it? No. Okay. <laughs> I keep on messing this up. Um, like I said, you could um, do this a lot more accurately than I'm doing it. I'm just making a bit of a mess of it. Uh, you can look up the area of a small map and just like go to one corner of it and then just like fill in the entire <coughs> area, but yeah. Now we have brown. So that's what the colour of the wood makes it. Come on. Bloody line picks up. There we go. And that's why you want to do this far from spawn because it is a big hit. Wow. That's 150 blocks. Uh, actually, I did do it more than once, so it's probably a bit more than 150 blocks. But yeah, the, that, um, this will take up a lot of resources, so you'll probably want to do this in an endless world or something. Um, uh, you know, an, an infinite world. So, yeah, anyway. Like I was saying. So, how this works is, if I get just like any block, so let's get some item frames. It does have this little bit here, which is mildly annoying. But other than that, this is probably the best way to do to the pixel art because you can have two colors intersecting on the same block. Um, pros and cons of this: cons it is a little too bit expensive to fill in an entire area that a map shows, um, and the item frames are a tad bit expensive, being eight sticks and one lever but if you have a big enough cow farm then you shouldn't have any problem with that in fact you probably have too many item frames um so yeah uh and i, f I don't think in bedrock i think yeah in java you can place item frames on the floor and on the ceiling so it also works that way on um, java i don't know why it doesn't on bedrock but I don't know. Anyway, um, or oh, something else you could also do do this with that would look really cool is um, <coughs> a um, TARDIS. So just like um, have like an area like this, and then just ha and then just go out <coughs> and do some 2D pixel art. Uh, pixel art. And then just like have it look like the TARDIS, so you could have this like in the shape of the TARDIS, and then like have all the detail on it. That would look pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Also, if you're creative, you can duplicate it. Um, pick uh, pet maps. Um, also, yeah, you're gonna have to craft a. You you can use the same area, area again and again. You just have to craft another map. Which, um, don't craft locator maps every time because that would get expensive. Just craft um, a normal map, which is uh, nine, which is uh, nine, you know, paper, which is nine sugar cane. Which, um, if you have a sugar cane farm, should be no problem at all. Uh, so I'll see you guys. In the next video, um, hold on. In, in the next video, I want to see if this glitch still works up. Next, next video, bye bye. Oh, it doesn't work. There, there used to be glitch where if you stood on it while it opened, you could be pulled through.
Aww. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe and uh, the ring a ding uh, that uh, notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.